What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to use the texture graph in Unreal Engine 5.4. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is enable the texture graph plugin. Let's go up into edit, plugins and search for texture graph. And then we just need to enable this uh, plugin over here and restart the editor. Once we have restarted the editor, what we can do is go to the counter browser, right click, go and you search for texture graph, which you can just type directly in your keyboard. And here we have it, texture graph. Let's select this, name this something as TG underscore test and open this up. And basically this texture graph allows us, well, to precisely create, well, textures <laughs> using nodes. Just like if, for example, in Substance Painter. So as you can see, we have an output node over here. I'm gonna start to drag in things. For example, I could just right click, search for color and just you know, change the color to be kind of, you know, bluish and plug it into the output. And there we go. Now we have a blue texture, as simple as that. Now, if we want to start to add more things, we can add things, for example, as a pattern, right? So I can change parameters here, for example, from a square to a circle and change the width and so on. And then I could right click, go and search for multiply and just combine both of these to essentially create a blue texture right with a pattern over here uh, looking pretty simple right nothing crazy from other world just a simple output texture right so i am not gonna go very in depth in this tutorial okay as also this is you know just super new and there's not a lot of information about this but you essentially have here all the notes that you can use to basically begin to create uh, particular textures right now, once you have your texture created, right? That if you know if you want more videos and tutorials on how to create these textures, let me know in the comments below. But you can just go up into export and basically you select the output that we have over here and click on export. And then if we look at our content browser, we can see that we have the texture over here. So now it will be as simple as right click on this texture, create material, m underscore test, open this up. And now we have a material with the texture that we created. So we can now go ahead and save, go here. And if I were to get, for example, a new sphere to the level and just drag in this material, you can see that now we would have this texture that I basically personally created using the texture graph. Of course, it's extremely boring <laughs> and simple, but you get the idea. With this note, you can procedurally create textures, which is really cool. And then, of course, you just export them and use them in your materials. So that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it. You can like video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Check out my Patreon and YouTube members for benefits, benefits. join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all I said, bye-bye.